Welcome. Today, I will explain some commonly available timber plants. And uh, especially, I want to include three names. One is stick, second one is shawl, and the third one is pine. The first two, that is the tick and the shawl, are a member of angiosperm and pine a gymnospermic representative and most interestingly teak and shawl show their deciduous nature and pine on the contrary an evergreen coniferous one. So firstly, I mentioned the teak plants. Scientifically, uh, the name of this plant is known as Tictuna grandis. In Bengali and in, in Hindi, commonly known as, especially in Bengali, Shegun, and in Hindi, Segun. This plant belongs to the family Varbinaceae. In this picture, the one number of image showing the tree habit. Already I mentioned that it, this is a deciduous tree. Number two explains its flower. Three, the flower and fruit bearing twig. And the four, fruits enclosed by calyx. And five, fruits with opened calyx. So, this illustration explains the overall morphology of the Tectona grandis. Now, this is a large deciduous tree indigenous to both the peninsulas of India and uh, it is cultivated throughout the Bengal, Assam, Sikkim and in Northwest India. If we consider the structure and utility of the nature of the wood, the sap wood is uh, whitish in color and very small in amount. The heart wood, green, and uh, have a strong aromatic and pleasant fragrance when we cut it. And it shows a beautiful dark golden yellow color. And after the seasoning process, it turns into brown, darker color. This Oud, that is the tick or shegun, is moderately hard, very durable, strong, not easily split, not showing any crack, shrink, or alteration of shape after the uh, seasoning activities. And this is very much important for its great durability. And uh, most importantly, this would show our resistance, resistance to fungi. This wood is normally used for the preparation of poles, beams, columns, uh, window frames, and this is one of the best timber 
for furniture and cabinet making, railway carriages, wagons, portions. And due to its better shape, retention ability. This is most important term for this wood. Shape retention ability. The stick is very popular in marine construction and is a and 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 can be used to prepare boat and ship and also used for various laboratories or chemical industries for making laboratory bench top because of its resistance to chemicals next this is the shawl plants scientific name Shoria robusta of the family Dipterocarpaceae. This is a very important tree of the dry, dry deciduous forest, especially tropical dry deciduous forest. And it's a large tree. I think uh, we must have a clear idea about deciduous and evergreen. Deciduous plants means which sheds its leaves annually. And as the name implies, evergreen means a plant which has leaves throughout the year and mostly with greeny appearance for their leaves. And for the structure of the wood of the shawl, and this is the one of the most valuable timber trees in India, has a distinct sapwood, which is also very small, like the tick, whitish in color, and not durable. The hardwood is brown, finely streaked with the darker lines and hard, strong, and tough with a remarkably fibrous and uh, cross-granular structural configuration. The timber is one of the most extensively used in various parts of India, mostly in northern India, for railing of bridges, doors, for making furnitures, railway slippers. Salud rank with teak and other like the other as one of the best slipper woods in India. Next one, a member of gymnosperm, that is the naked seeded plants. Pine. Scientific name or common species Pinus roxburghi, Pinus wallichina. These are very common and important also. In the left hand side picture showing the overall plant habit, and in the right hand portion, we try to explain. So the most important portion of this plant. This plant, an evergreen coniferous tree. It's normally found in western and eastern Himalayas. The tree show leaf dimorphism. There is two types of leaves. One is needle shepherd foliage leaves and another one is scale leaves. It shows special type of cone, one for male and another one is female. This is the male cone, much more compacted and these are the 
फीमेल को फर्स्ट ईयर सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर ओके एंड इफ यू कंसिडर द नेचर ऑफ द ऊट पाइन प्लांट हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ और इट्स बेटर टू से देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ पाइन प्लांट वन इज सॉफ्ट और वाइट पाइन एंड अदर वन इज हार्ड और येलो पाइन द सॉफ्ट और वाइट पाइन as the name implies has a soft white colored wood wood is very light easy to walk out but not strong and durable on the contrary hard and yellow pine have a hard heavy resinous strong and durable wood we normally use the pine for construction work packing cases furniture and for the preparation of pencils pen holders match boxes etc so today we have a basic very basic idea about the three timber plants there are so many other timber plants also and from this basic understanding i think we must have an idea about the nature of the plant there may be evergreen there may be deciduous or the nature of their wood and of their economic importance thank you